man, what a beautiful day. What do you think we should do? Should we go to the beach? Should we go for a ride? Should we go for a walk? Nah, what about we put in a trailer hitch? So if you would like to go from this to this. So if you want to see how easy and inexpensive it is to put this trailer hitch on your Ford Bronco, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. All right, thanks for coming back. Let's open the box and see what's in it. If you notice here, I wrote 82 foot-pounds of torque. Ford's torque specification, if you have a torque wrench, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's see what's in this box. <coughs> we have the... trailer we have the cap we have a bag of bolts and we have the trailer hitch well, let's take her out of here all right powder coated nice and sturdy it's a nice trailer hitch. Let's put her aside and let's look what we got in the bolts. So we have one, two, three, four through bolts. We have two, four, six, eight washers. One, two, three, Four nuts. Four nuts and a small bolt. Okay. This is how it's going to work. Bolt. Washer. Through there. Washer. Nut. Tighten it up. Torque to 82 foot-pounds. Okay. Now, all right, so this trailer hitch is going to be in the description below. You want to hit the Amazon link to go buy one. You can buy this one, or you can buy any trailer hitch you'd like. doesn't matter to me. I would like you to use the affiliate link um, in the description box below because it helps me and it helps the channel. But you can buy any trailer you hitch you want. The only thing I'm going to tell you about trailer hitch, when you look at them, some are going to have the nuts welded on right here, okay? I personally do not want to buy one with the nuts welded on right here. The reason being is that if the nuts are welded on on the back of the trailer hitch, then I have to bring the bolt in from the front. For me to bring the bolt in from the front, I have to take the whole rear bumper off the Bronco. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, that's only four bolts, and you slide it off, and you slide it back on. But you know what? If I don't have to remove the bumper, I'm not going to remove the bumper. If I can add the trailer hitch and put the bolts in from the back and have the nuts loose and put in the front, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna want to do. Okay? Because the less work, the better. All right. Let's put this aside and let's talk about tools. What are you gonna need for tools? You're not gonna need a lot of stuff. You're not gonna need much. You're going to need a 19 box wrench. If you do not have millimeter tools and you don't have an 18 millimeter box wrench, I've stated in one of my previous videos, one of the best things you can buy is an adjustable wrench. Okay. This adjustable wrench will cover basically all your wrenching needs as long as you can get the head where you need to get it. Okay. So if you don't have metric tools, just get yourself an adjustable wrench. You're going to need a ratchet with an 18 millimeter socket. And if you have one, you're going to need a Torx wrench with an 18 millimeter socket. 
if you do not have a torque wrench, then I will just tighten the crap out of it with this, okay? All right, so that's that. That's all you need. It's pretty easy. Take you 10 minutes to put the trailer hitch on. Um, let's move on to the truck, and I'll show you all about it. Hey, everyone. I want to talk about torque specs real quick. So I looked everywhere on the Internet, and uh, it's not really clear. Some places say 59 foot-pounds. Some places say 110 foot-pounds. I went with 82 foot-pounds. I found that. It seems to be in the middle. I was happy with that. Um, but you need to be responsible and see whatever the hitch you buy, whatever they tell you to use for foot-pounds. Um, unfortunately, most of these hitches, they don't even come with directions. Nevertheless, torque specs, okay? So I used 82. You use your best judgment. Let's install the hitch. Alrighty, so if you take a look, you have four holes. One, two, three, four. That is where your trailer hitch is going to go. So, we're going to grab our trailer hitch. Be careful, she's heavy. And she slides right up there. Just like so. Bolt with washer. Goes right through. Bolt with washer above the muffler, and it goes right through. So now we'll just do that to all four. And now we'll repeat it. Bolt, washer, above the muffler, right through. And that is why you want the bolts to not be welded to the back. Otherwise, you have to take the bumper off to get it through. Right through. Okay. Now we're going to take a washer and another and a nut. Come in through the front. Let me bring you in so you can see it. Okay. You can see two of the bolts. Washer. I'm going to take the nut, feed it up there. And get it started. Okay? Good. Let's do it again. Washer. Nineteen millimeter nut. All right. We're gonna grab our wrench. Put it right there. We're gonna grab our ratchet. Put it right here. And we're gonna tighten it up. And that's it. And we're going to repeat the process four more times so we get to the end. So let me do that, and I'll get right back to you. All righty. So once you get all four of them tight, you're going to grab your wrench, grab the bolt from the back, and then you're going to grab your torque wrench. We're going to put that up there. And we're going to torque it till we hear the click. There you go. You hear it? All right. Move down to the next one. There you go. Here she goes. You can hear the click. All right, let's get the last one here.
you can get both these two bolts through this opening right here on the right side of the you can get these two bolts through this opening right here all right And that's it. It's done. Trailer hitch is installed. Well, you see, what did it take us? 15 minutes? So the trailer hitch is in. All right, so the last thing you have to do is just place this around the, place this on, and put your cap on. And there you go, your trailer hitch is completed. It's all about 15, 20 minutes. Hardest part of the whole job, honestly, was talking those bolts. But uh, it's almost Thanksgiving, so I wish you guys all a nice holiday. Next week, we're going to put in the trailer wiring. So if you guys can, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, the notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And you guys have a great day. See you next week.